Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Tisha, and today we're gonna do a post-burn candle review. Now I'm gonna save my Christmas in July post-burn reviews. Um, we're gonna do that one next, but I thought I would share with you the candles that I finished prior to starting that project for our Project Use It Up. So today I have six three wicks, four single wicks from Bath & Body Works, and then two single wicks from Diamond Candles to share with you. So I figured let's just jump right in and talk about how these candles performed. Now there are no new candles in here, but they still might be candles that you have in your collection. And I really enjoyed a lot of the blends I created. Um, I think I'll do another fresh bl blends video soon because I actually created some really yummy blends this time around. So let's just jump in to the first candles I wanted to share with you. I did get a chance to finish up these two diamond candles. They were a single wick candle and I even got a chance to put these on the warmer for another four days or so because there was so much scent left in these candles. Um, so they are a single wick. They burned, I would say, quite close to as long as my other like single wicks do. So I'm going to give it like that. I think they're like 40 hours. They usually say I'm on the bottom of here somewhere. I can't remember, but like it's like 40-ish hours. So I was really pleasantly surprised and these really had a throw. So the scents that I got to try were Carnival Candy. This was a delicious cotton candy scent, a little bit of pink berries. Like I got like a hint of strawberry possibly, or you know, it was like pink sugar berries or whatever. Um, and for a cotton candy scent, this was really strong. These did come with a little ring inside, which is also a really fun uh, part of the experience. I did just do a video recently talking about these, but um, they pooled pretty well. Like I, you see a little bit of wax around there and I did just leave that wick going and the wick looks a little funny now because I warmed them for a few days, but even now after four days of warming, I can still pick up a hint of cotton candy. That's crazy to me. So I was actually really impressed with these. I saw no sooting, no like high burning flame. They really performed well. The other scent I got to try was this banana split. Now, as you can see, the wax kind of stuck to the sides a little bit more in this one, but this was actually even stronger than Carnival Candy. It had a delicious banana cherry. I almost get chocolate and like a nut in there. The whole experience of a banana split. I would like to buy this one again. And I'm going to go to the site and see if they even have it maybe in a larger candle. Um, really, really enjoyed this one. Um, I did burn it for a little bit of time with this one chocolate banana mudslide. And it just made the banana even more delicious. Um, but yeah, I was really impressed with these candles for the size and how much throw I was able to get off them. I think the ring is such a fun part of it. Um, this one, I did have a little bit more wax left over. I think the wick just stud it out a little bit. But this one sat on the warmer for like four or five days. So I was really happy with those. Um, and you know, to be honest, I think I will repurchase. I do, I'd like to kind of talk about, are they a recommend or a repurchase? If it's something that you think would be a fun gift, I think that's a really, really great way to pick these candles up. I thought the price was really nice, especially with having the little, little surprise inside. And also I was really I'm impressed with the performance overall of the candle. So those were a yes for me. Okay, the next blend that I did, which I'm really enjoying, or really enjoyed, they're gone, was Firecracker Pop and Lemon Cello. So Firecracker Pop is our juicy cherry pop, so like a bomb pop scent. In a single wick, you wouldn't even know this wasn't a three wick. It was so strong, it still is, it smells amazing. So even though this is kind of like a 4th of July candle, it's kind of a summer candle for me and I bought multiple backups when I found them for 75% off. But if you like popsicle, summertime, juicy cherry, very fruity, pretty strong, like I said, I don't wanna put, I don't do the number system, but I'm gonna go ahead and give this a high throw because I could smell that cherry bomb pop scent all throughout my living room, which is where I was burning this. And I burnt it in conjunction with lemon cello, which is a sugary, sweet lemon scent. Um, I love these in the kitchen after I clean because this one also is a strong scent. You would never know that this was not a three wick. This was in the um, wallflower test candles I picked up for 70% off for sass. Really enjoy both of these. I hope I have another backup because this scent together was like cherry lemonade and it was really, really nice. So these were an absolute favorite and I'll probably talk about those in my Fresh Blend video. Another set of single wicks that I did get through was a Sweet Berry Peony and this was just a really pretty fruity floral. I really enjoy this in a wallflower. This little single wick did a really nice job as well. 
I have one three wick that I haven't actually burnt yet, but I thought this one for a single wick really performed nicely. Um, the space was filled similar to how the wall, so if you got to try the wall flower plug, then you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, you really are surprised at how strong of a throw this gives. And um, I was able to smell this all throughout the space and it kind of trickled down the hallway. So for single wick, this was a really, really nice one. And the last one I tried was Island Reef. This one is like a men's cologne scent. I really like it though. And it actually worked really well with this one because it's, you know, like Fruity Flora, which is like a nice, like um, women's perfume scent. So I always kind of like to do like a feminine and masculine scent together. Now anyone can wear anything that they want, but this was a nice Fruity Floral. This has that like hint of maybe like a mahogany in there. It doesn't have the notes, so I'm just trying to smell it out, but another really strong candle. So my single wicks kind of beat my three wicks this post burn review. Um, this was another one that I picked up that was like a wallflower plug single wick tester, but I was really happy with all of those and they performed really well. Okay, so then I did go ahead and use a pink lemonade from last year. We did get this for Sass this year. The notes are strawberry, sweet strawberry puree, acai berry, fresh lemonade, and sugar. This is just like, if you like a lemonade set, this is just another like sweet lemonade with a bit of strawberry. It's so nice. Just scream summer to me. And I just kind of played with a lot of fruity scents this time around, mixing them together before I got to my winter Christmas and July candles. So I've got a lot of fruity ones in this round and then the next one are gonna be a ton of gourmands. But I like this candle because it is a nice strong throw. Again, I like that fruits can mix and meet in the middle in my big space. So I burnt this at the same time I was burning firecracker pop and limoncello and all those notes just tart and tangy and like the sweetness was like really tart. I just really enjoyed this scent quite a bit and the burn was pretty good. So that's all that on that. I think this is my absolute last one, which makes me sad, but I did pick up one for Sass this year. So my hopes are that it performs the same. Okay, the next one I went through was a Honeysuckle and Peach Spritz. I only picked up one. This was in one of the later spring packaging. I thought the packaging was really cute. It burned down really amazing, actually. Um, just a tiny, tiny bit of sooting, but you know, I always tell you guys at the end of a candle's life, I kind of just let it do, do its thing. I just watch it, but the notes are honeysuckle blooms, juicy peach, and orange zest. I will say the peach in this is nice. Sometimes peach can be a little like scanty. Like I don't, like I either love it or I hate it. There's no in between with peach, but this one I do love. Um, it's got like a sweet vanilla candied scent to the peach. The honeysuckle is not super strong, but you do smell something else in this candle. And then the orange zest, I think, maybe tones down the peach a little bit, but I don't actually pick up any orange. Mostly you just get peach with a hint of like a sweet floral. So almost more just like a sweetness. I wouldn't actually even call it a floral, but it is there in the background. You just kind of have to search for it. But this was a really nice throw too. Did solid medium. Um, I really enjoyed it actually. Probably should have got another one, but at the time I wasn't sure how it was going to perform and then I didn't really burn it till just now. Another blend I had just put together was Black Cherry Merlot, which we got for Candle Day, and then Black Cherry Seltzer. So kind of an easy blend here, but I just really was kind of keeping to that fruity, juicy theme. So in Black Cherry Merlot, you have Dark Cherry, Black Raspberry, Sumptuous Merlot. If you've been a fan of this scent, then you know exactly what it smells like, and it's a very strong candle. It's very strong body care too. You really pick up a black cherry scent. So it's not like the sweet little red cherries. It's very dark and I don't really pick up Merlot, but there's just something in the background of this candle that makes it more than just a fruity scent. But what I really like about it is its strength and throw. Really nice candle. The other one I burnt with that one was Black Cherry Seltzer. This one's a little bit more effervescent, like a drink, even though that one is wine. It doesn't have a bubbliness to it. This is Sweet Black Cherry Fizzy Seltzer Water and Cane Sugar. So it is a completely different candle, I do want to say. This is much more deep, deeper, and the cherry note is completely different than the cherry note they put in here. Um, this one is a lot more like fizzy and effervescent and light, but I do feel like they are both quite strong and burning together, they burnt really well. So there's this one again, not too much soot, but burned really clean. I was pretty happy with it. My last little, I guess they burnt them together, but they were in different parts of the room. So strawberry pound cake, this came out 
um, I think right after Candle Day and we just, you know, either liked this collection as a whole or didn't really care for it. There wasn't a lot of new scents in it. It was all kind of things we'd already seen before. And I burnt it in conjunction with the chocolate mudslide. Now this one was in the living room and this is in the kitchen. And I just kind of like where they met in the middle. I was getting this really like chocolate strawberry banana, kind of a banana split, but not really type of thing. Um, so the notes on strawberry pound cake, like we don't know, are fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. This one is just a nice tried and true scent. And it performed really well, um, that I will say. Um, some of the candles that came out in this collection really didn't have much of a throw. Um, and we've talked about that at length. But, um, the, the blueberry pie and the strawberry pound cake were my standouts from this collection just based on how well they performed. The other scents I liked, like Spring Plum and Blackberries, I like it for the 75% off price, um, but it was quite light when it first came out. I really was like, had to stand over the candle and get a little suntan to smell it, and I don't love that. So um, this one was throwing throughout my entire kitchen, definitely smelled like I was baking something. And then where it met the chocolate banana mudslide, there was this nice little like, chocolate banana strawberry cake moment. So um, let's talk about chocolate banana mudslide. So this is my second one I burned through. This is just such a summer scent to me. Um, this one burnt a little sooty, but not bad. I probably burnt it a little bit too long, one of the burns, because um, I was just enjoying it, kind of forgetting about it. And then, so the wax is a little bit of a tan, but this kind of got a little bit murky. The notes are frozen banana chocolate syrup, crushed ice, and a splash of rum. Now, I've heard some people say they can't smell the rum. I can really smell it in here. Um, really get a strong coconut rum presence. So I really enjoyed this candle. And like I said, where this candle was meeting strawberry pound cake, it smelled amazing because I feel like all of the notes that are in both of these are quite prominent. So you don't lose anything by mixing them together. Um, but yeah, this was just really good. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. I think that's kind of where we're at with this one. But I feel like for summer, this is a quite a unique candle and I do have a couple backups. So this is definitely one I repurchased. And truthfully, everything that I burnt through this week, or this was actually last week, just getting uh, a little caught up on videos, but everything I burnt through this time, I would definitely say I would repurchase and I recommend to you all. So keep your eye out. I know some stores are still having some of those sale items. So if you see some of these things at a deep discount, they're definitely worth it. Um, and I would, probably back up all of these and they probably are backed up all except for maybe the honeysuckle and peach tea. I think I have a backup in my collection. So that's it, you guys. That's all the candles I got through this last week. And I will be bringing you my Christmas in July post burns very, very soon. I hope you're all doing well. Let me know down below what you've been burning and loving. And I will talk to you in a video very soon. Bye friends.